All right. Hey, thanks for tuning into our show, live show seven and nine today. We're talking to a, a wonderful group of people with Adopted Trail, Vale Adopted Trail. Joining me right here, this is Aaron Mayville. You are the White River National Forest District Ranger. Thanks for coming in. I've got Michelle Wolf, Adopted Trail Coordinator, mm -hmm. and then I've got Jeff Thompson, Adopted Trail Ranger. You guys, so Rangers and Coordinators and Vale Adopted Trail. So. Let, you know, let's get right into it. Let's tell us, let everybody know what, uh, how did it come to exist? What is Vale Adopted Trail and how did it come about? Yeah, so uh, the White River National Forest, our Eagle Holy Cross Ranger District here, we have over 600 miles of hiking, biking, horse trails. Okay. Um, and usually with our budget and staffing, we have about two to three people to maintain all 600 miles every year, every summer. Um, that's a lot. So then that's where the Adopted Trail comes into place. So you have that's other right. people adopting trails to help um, kind of maintain the trails and sections of trails. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, so what we did with, with our budget and our staff, and we partnered with the Vail Valley Mountain Bike Association and the Vail Valley Trails Connection, two great groups in the valley, um, to try to get us some more help. Okay. Um, they, they did a, a GoFundMe site, a crowdsourcing site, and raised over $50,000 in only three months, okay. and, uh, which is amazing. And thanks to everybody in the valley for participating. Right, right. And, um, and we're kicked off. So we were able to hire uh, Michelle and Jeff here to, to kick off the Adopted Trail program this summer. Okay, so Michelle, who can adopt a trail? Anybody wants to adopt a trail can? Really, anyone and everyone. Uh, we have a few requirements. We're asking you that uh, you have at least four people, so dedicated individuals or a corporation or organization. It could be larger uh, by no means, but you have to have at least uh, two days committed to the trails this summer, and by two days, I mean two three-hour segments, and next summer, probably three days, so it's a two-year commitment. Okay. And if you have a group and you're committed and you can be there on the 21st, which we'll mention, then we'll give you a trail and a placard with a U.S. Forest Service sign on there. I love that. So, Jeff, what is involved with adopting a trail? Like, what goes into it? Well, taking care of trails requires a lot of maintenance. So that's, that's really what we're trying to get at with this, is, is freeing up um, some of the resources to do all the maintenance, you know, all the brush that grows over annually, the trees that fall across the trail, the water that comes down the trail and erodes the trail. Um, those sorts of things are, are what we really want these groups to take on. And it's a lot of work. Um, so we're hoping that, you know, through this program that we can really free up some other resources to, to uh, do some other big projects on the trails. And then, like, what, kind, what trails are up for adoption? Is there a big list of trails that are available? There are. There's close to 50, between 40 and 50 trails, and they spread everywhere from Vail all the way down to Gypsum. And it's, it's all Forest Service land this year, but we tried to hit trails that um, start in the valley, high-use trails, ones that most all of us know and have been on and, and have loved for years. Um, and so, yeah, there's about 20 trails we're trying to adopt and 40 trails eventually we want to have adopt. So this year I think there'll be some options for groups to uh, potentially pick okay. and choose ones that they like. Okay, so Michelle, real quick, if people want to adopt a trail, if how do they go about that? If you want to adopt a trail, just show up on June 21st. It's a Tuesday at the Dusty Boot in uh, Beaver Creek. Okay. We're going to have some apps and the cash bar will be open, but you've got to be there to throw your name into the hat. It's literally a lottery. So you oh, might really? want that trail, but you know what, have your mind open because uh, there's so many great ones that we can help support. You guys, thanks for all of you for coming in today. Nice to see you both. Thank you. And uh, Aaron, thanks Thank for you. all that you do Appreciate out there. And uh, yeah, so Vail Adopted Trail, you can uh, be at the Dusty Boot on the 21st of June. Mm -hmm. Put your name in the lottery and find out if you get lucky to win a trail. We're taking a break from the show and then we're going to have your fly fishing report when we come back.